It's been a while. Well, this is exciting. So what's going on guys, Cubix here and welcome back to a brand new video. It has been about 10 months since I have unboxed any cubes from the cubicle.com and I am super excited. I got two cubes here today that they sent over to me to make videos on. So I'm super excited for that. I think I got the GAN 5x5 that just came out and also the GAN 14. So let's just get this opened up and check the cubes out. So guys, I know I owe you an apology for being gone for so long or at least not making any long form content. I think it's been about a year since I made a long video. And I'll just say right off the bat, definitely being at a military college makes it difficult to film longer videos. And also I didn't even film any shorts videos when I was there. All of those videos that came out once a week were pre-recorded. Like I made them all over the summer before the school year. And I'm gonna be honest, I did not film a single video during the school year. I just didn't feel motivated to. I had a lot on my plate, but now I'm back and I hope to make a little bit of long form content. But since my summer's not crazy long, and it's nice to have a break. Shorts videos are just easier to make in general. Ooh, two credit cards. All right, let's see what's in the box real quick. So I think a tutorial pamphlet, a little screwdriver. I have like a million of these and a cute bag. I heard it was new. All right, so that's a new cool design. I like how simple it is. And I really like the dark blue with this color blue. It's a nice contrast. Anyways, I'm gonna stop blabbering on about these random little things that don't matter. Let's get into the cube. I'm super excited. I've heard a lot of great things about it. And oh my gosh, I love this new box. This is sick. <laughs> All right, so anyways, I've heard a lot of great things about this cube. I'm super excited to do some first turns and just give you my first impressions. Oh, wow. That feels super compact and so durable, like it will never pop. Right off the bat, it has a pretty buttery feeling and I can tell the magnet strength on the inner layers is very sturdy. They're pretty light on the outer layers, but I noticed the inner layers are staying together very well, which I'm super happy about. Normally on 5x5s, when I try to do middle flicks, the layers get separated and it's very annoying, but these layers have not separated a single time since I started turning this, and I'm really, really enjoying the turning. The feel and sound is also very satisfying as well. Right now, it might be a little tight. I just hope there's a screw on the inside and not some weird nut system that I have to like figure out how to use. Okay, great. That's gonna be really easy to adjust. I think I'm actually gonna make it slightly looser right now just to see how flexible it can get while still maintaining the same inner layer compactness, if that's the right word. And I do definitely like that GAN's big cubes do not have the nuts on the inside. Oh, wow, that is very tight. There we go. I think that's good. About one turn of the screw. I'll see how it works by doing that on every side. Okay, I just did a turn of every screw. Oh wow, the turning is definitely a lot faster now, but it feels a little unstable. It still doesn't feel like it's gonna pop, which is crazy. Like I'm turning it fast and it feels unstable, but I don't get the feeling like it's about to explode or lock up for that matter. I will tighten it a little bit though, just to make it a little more stable. I'll probably go back a quarter to a half a turn. All right, I just went back about a quarter to a half a turn and already that is a lot better. I think these are the settings I'm probably gonna like it most on. I do like my five by fives, a little more flexible, but I noticed definitely in the MGC that it always felt like it was gonna pop no matter what set it was on and if i made it so it didn't feel like it would pop then it was insanely tight and i just couldn't get the feeling right but like i said all the feeling like it was about okay well exactly what i was just saying there goes a pop so i think i will probably main the gan over this just because of that but yeah so the other cube i could possibly compare this to is my other main i remember this was really similar to the mgc but it got rid of the poppy feeling so this is a lot more compact and still flexible and able to corner cut pretty well but it got rid of the feeling like it was gonna pop so i'll probably have to do a comparison on the gan and this so far out of the box i would say these match up very well but i'll definitely have to do some more solves on this to see how much i like it and change it up a bit maybe lube it because this definitely feels more buttery but with some lube this can probably feel just like it i know a lot of people are switching to this as their mains right away so i'm sure it can get a lot better than it is out of the box now i guess while i'm actually already doing a mini comparison between these cubes the size did feel a little big whenever i first unboxed this maybe it's just because i haven't played with a 5x5 in such a long time but it looks like it's a little bit bigger than the outrong wrm dang i'm surprised i remember that name i was about to call it the way long and it also feels a little bit bigger than the mgc actually i think these are the exact same size. I know this is 62 millimeters and I'm pretty sure that's what the MGC was also. The matte finish I also noticed is a little bit slippier than the glossy finish of these cubes and I assume the UV is even better than just the glossy feeling. So if I were buying this cube, I don't know if I would spend the extra $10 on just getting the UV coating. I know it would probably make it more grippy and for someone who is very avidly a 5x5 solver, the UV coating would probably be the better option. But for me who hardly solves 5x5 but does enjoy doing it 
every so often. I think $10 cheaper for the matte plastic is probably the way to go. It really is not much of a difference. And just using this for a little while, some of the matte finish rubs off and it starts to feel just like a glossy cube. I do really like the colors on this. They're very bright. I will just note that I don't know why I expected the 5x5 at first to feel like the 4x4, but they feel nothing alike. The 4x4 came out so many years ago. I thought it was going to be great, but whenever I first got it, I could just tell something was seriously wrong with it. And I think it's the inner layers. They're very slow, like way slower than the outer layers. And it causes catching all the time. And this cube has popped so many times, I can't even count. This cube is very bad and it locks up all the time. So I don't know why I was even expecting the 5x5 to be like it. Maybe because this is the last big GAN cube I've ever solved. But they feel so different. This is a lot more modern. It feels a lot more smoother and like GAN was actually trying. I think I'm actually going to try to put some lube in this to see how it changes it. Really quick though, before I get any further, I would like to note that the main point of this video was really just to review the GAN 562M, but I will make a shorter video on the 3x3 as well, just to give some of my thoughts and maybe even make a skit with it. Man, it's been a while since I've opened this. Oh yeah, DNM 37. I think I usually mix that with silk. I try to put the silk more on the stalks and get a nice gummy feeling on the inside while making the layers and the outer parts of the piece themselves a lot smoother and faster with the DNM 37. Can you remember how many drops to use, let alone in a 5x5? All right, now let's put in some DNM and make it a little faster. Whoa, right now that is very fast. I definitely need to work this in a bit. All right, so I played around with it for a few minutes and really worked in the lubes. And guys, let me tell you, this feels absolutely heavenly. I can't believe GAN really stepped up the game from their 4x4 and just made a 5x5 that absolutely blew my mind. This thing is so fast, buttery smooth, and even has a sort of satisfying crunchy sound but just a little taste of it, not too much. I think the GAN logo is also a little bit darker. I do really like that dark look. I think it actually matches this color too. Yeah, so after playing around with it for a bit, I noticed the inner layers still don't have a problem with separation, which is really nice. Probably my favorite thing about this cube so far because with other, yep, just like that. I was just about to say with other cubes, the inner layers separate a lot whenever I try to do middle turns and now I can't even get it to be normal. So yeah, GAN, great job with that. And this used to be my main. Well, I think I already know what my new main is. I just also really love the feeling like this is never gonna pop. It's flexible enough and can corner cut incredibly, but it still feels very sturdy while I need to turn it fast. It's like whenever I'm turning a little bit messy, it's able to be flexible enough, but also whenever I need to turn fast and accurately, it like listens to my mind and just stays super compact and does not have a feeling like it's about to pop, lock up, or have some really weird locky moves. I wanna point out that the size of this does feel slightly big. I wonder if Gan ever made a 6 60 millimeter one, just like the Aochuang WRM, it would fit my hands a little bit better. Now I know like two millimeters or however much that is, is hardly any difference. But whenever you're turning it fast, you really do notice it. And I have smaller hands. And so for other people with smaller hands, just like me, the Aochuang feels absolutely amazing size wise. And the GAN just feels a slight bit big. Like I have to reach a little bit more than usual, which takes a little bit of time and also just feels slightly bulky. But if they cut down the size a couple millimeters, that really might make a super nice difference. All right, anyway, I haven't done a solve in a really long time, but let's get out the timer if I can find it. And I'll do a little solve while talking about the sponsor of today's video. Okay, guys, I haven't done a 5x5 five five solve in so long. So before you laugh, just know I'm completely out of practice and I don't even remember which method I used. I think it'll come to me as soon as I start though. Okay, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Okay, so right before I do mention the sponsor of today's video, I do just want to bring up some of the specs of the cube. So the GAN 562M Matte Edition costs $58.99 on thecubicle.com. You can get that for 5% off if you use code CUBIC at checkout. The UV coated version is $67.99. The cube is 301 grams, it's magnetic, and it is 62 millimeters. It also comes with a sick box, so why not get it, right? Anyways, this video would not have been possible without the support of thecubicle.com. So thank you so much to them for sponsoring today's video and the rest of the videos on this channel. The Cubicle is an incredible Rubik's Cube store, and it's only like the biggest and most popular store on the entire planet where you can get Rubik's Cubes of all varieties, shapes, sizes, anything, you name it, it's there. Any other wild cube you could find at some other store, the cubicle probably also has it too, and probably had it first. Additionally, the cubicle's customer support is top notch. If you have any problems with any of your cubes, need any spare parts, they have it and they will get back to you right away to respond to any of your needs. I literally cannot think of a more amazing store than the cubicle. And plus, King Man just got sponsored, so they must be amazing. And for that matter, I would like to congratulate King Man for getting sponsored. We're really happy to have you on the team. All right, so more about this amazing store. I can name so much about this, so I'm glad my 5x5 solve is taking a long time 
because I have so much to say. The cubicle has been around for so long and they just have everything you could possibly imagine. Their online store is constantly being updated to fit customers' needs and it's so easy to navigate. They also have a mobile app where you can just hop on your phone, scroll through, and that's also very, very easy to navigate as well. Prices at the cubicle are also amazing and you can use code CUBICS to get 5% off all of your orders at checkout. Finally, the cubicle has new sales and giveaways every single week. Every Tuesday, they do a super exciting sale and it always helps me save money. I use it way too much to my advantage. Oh, and if you haven't seen my video where I'm giving away a random $20 gift card, it's a shorts video, so go check that out. It's pretty recent. You should be able to find it really easily. There are only two days left. There are only two days left, so make sure to hop on that quick. All right, so it looks like my solve is finally wrapping up, so I'm gonna end that off here. Again, thank you so much to the people for sponsoring this video. I really could not make it without you guys. Let's get back to the video. All right, well, that really wasn't that bad. I mean, my PR is like one minute and 38 seconds, but I was hoping to get under two and a half minutes because it's been so long. And yeah, so I'm actually pretty happy with that. All right, guys, so now for some final thoughts. Right out of the box, this queue was already insanely amazing, but it did feel slightly tight. And so with just a little bit of loosening and a slight bit of DNM and silk, this queue became absolutely incredible. The turning is super fluid and smooth with a slight scratchy sound, which is super satisfying in person. And the middle layer is stay together so well so i never need to worry about them separating while doing middle layer flicks this is a huge improvement from other rubik's cubes and also from the previous gan big cube which was the gan 460m and every layer just feels so smooth and equal on this cube i never have to worry about it popping or locking up and i can turn basically as fast and hard as i want without having to worry about any problems with the turning it stays together very well the pieces are very snappy and flexible but not too much to the point where it gets a little scary I also really like the colors and I just wish it was a little bit smaller, but for people who have normal size hands, which are most people, they shouldn't have a problem with this. Additionally, the matte plastic isn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, probably because I don't solve a 5x5 too fast. If you are a really good 5x5 solver, I would definitely get the UV coating just because of anti-slip. But yeah, for a price of $59, which is about $8 cheaper, I think, than the UV coating, I definitely think it's worth it. And this 5x5 is very incredible. It's definitely a step up from the MG and the Aochuang WRM, which were my two previous mains, just mainly because of the fact that it does not pop or lock up or have problems with the middle layer separating like those cubes did. Yeah, it's super fast and fluid and really overall just a great experience. I really like that there's not much you have to do to set it up because while you can have a great range on some of the three by threes that they have with all the different ways you can set it up, like the edge magnets, the core magnets, the different nuts, strengths, and all that stuff. I do like it being simpler. And with the big cubes, I like there not being an insane amount that you have to worry about to set up. Just a little bit of lube and some tensioning with just plain screws is just enough for me. But yeah, that's really all I have to say about this cube. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing. If you wanna see videos like this in the future, also comment down below some video suggestions for some more longer form videos that I could make in the future. But again, thank you so much to The Cubicle for sponsoring this video. And thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.